of the Minnesota State Fair. As you can see, we have an amazing crowd here for our noon show. We love it when everyone comes to join us, especially given that it's not the coolest day out here. But here they are. I don't know. It doesn't get much cooler than the mayor of St. Paul, Chris Coleman. Look at this shirt, everybody. I know, right? I can tell you what. I was a political science major in college, and if I were advising you as a candidate, I would be freaking out about this shirt as a disaster right now. Uh, well, you know, it, it may not work really well on television, but I love it, and uh, you know, we're so engaged in uh, promoting live music in the city of St. Paul Very that uh, anything I can do to promote it, I will. And I, I learned a new fact that uh, Mayor Coleman is musically gifted himself, right? I, I don't know if gifted is the right <laughs> word. I, I have failed at many instruments, okay. in, including bagpipes and guitar. Okay, well, we have to ask you about the new of the day that everybody wants to know about. The Star Tribune is reporting this morning that their sources say there is a deal with uh, the Major League Soccer folks to get uh, a stadium uh, in the St. Paul area. What can you tell us about that? Well, we've made no secret of our interest in having a stadium in St. Paul. Uh, we think the Midway site where the old uh, bus barn was on Snelling and University is an absolutely excellent site. Uh, the, the deal that has been suggested is that the owners of the team would pay for the construction of the stadium's uh, costs uh, completely on their own. Uh, and uh, this is a piece of property that has been off the tax rolls for almost a half a century. And so if you look at the development that we could have occur around it and the fact that the owners are willing to finance the construction of the stadium by themselves, uh, we think it's a heck of a deal that will really spur development along that is, corridor. Is the deal done? Is it going to happen in St. Paul? No, there's no announcement uh, No announcement on this one, you know, but we're, we're, you know, we've made no secret of our interest and we're going to continue to pursue it as lo and, and hopefully bring it home. W will there be an announcement this week? Uh, there will it, there will be an announcement at some point. I can't tell you tell you when, and uh, but hopefully the announcement will be that uh, we're going to bring soccer to St. Paul. That's as close. All right, that's, that's something as close to as we're going to get. About. I, I think a lot of people would like to see that soccer stadium here in town. Let's, either St. Paul or Minneapolis. Let's talk about the fair because you are out here. You said uh, you have to be out here four times for it to be official. Yeah, what's, your, uh, what's your favorite thing about being out here? Well, you know, I used to work at the fair, so I've spent a lot of time on the fairgrounds. I used to cook French fries, and then at night we'd uh, have the run of the fair because we were actually peeling the French fries at night. And uh, uh, I'll do I'll do anything and everything at the fair, but uh, it, it, no fair day is complete without at least one piece of corn. Ah, and that's where you're heading right after this. I, I, I have my tickets. I'm ready to go. You Very are good. ready to go. Well, Mayor Chris Coleman, always great to see you. Thank you so much. And I like the shirt for the record. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> and that matters a lot more to me than you liking it. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like it. I said as a strategist, I might have a question. <laughs> it's, a, it's a solid shirt for sure. Brickman?